So welcome everyone to uh, AdLib's webinar on uh, can you build a brand on digital? My name is Manu Matthew. Uh, AdLib is a next generation creative management platform uh, powered by what we call intelligent automation that makes it easier for brands to produce and optimize relevant ad creatives across digital channels at scale. I uh, will start with Emily uh, Bovaro, who is a VP Marketing Operations and E-Marketing at Newell Brands. Actually put together um, this fall kind of in response to um, all of our executives going, are we doing any advertising this year? And it's because we've gone digital. Um, and, and sort of the power of digital is targeting, right? So it's always fun to have to explain to your executives politely why they might not fit into our target demo and might not have been served up our latest ad on social. And what you saw is everything's mobile, right? Everything's digital. One of my first lessons um, or, or tips would be remember as you're moving to digital for your brands that you've, you've got to bring people along in that journey, right? So for us, it was the executives and explaining not only what it is, what's the platform, why we're there, but, but what do we look like out there? We've got some pretty uh, historic, iconic brands. Coleman, the tent that I'm in right now. I mean, you're talking very, very traditional brands that don't necessarily need to be built, but for sure need to stay relevant, right? And so for us, that's really about finding the trends and the ways to bring those brands into the conversations. The other thing is probably the, the idea of letting go of control, creative control a little bit. And so we, it's taken about a year and a half of, of getting folks comfortable um, relinquishing control to influencers, uh, brand ambassadors, people that love our products almost as much as we do, but are, but are have a, I think, a closer ear to the consumer and what they're looking for because they're one themselves. Um, Mike from TikTok. <laughs> um, so what do brands do and how do brands engage? And it's really about kind of got to dive in. Yeah. It's not that you don't own your brand voice, but you need to work with creators and understand how the new generation of consumers likes to be engaged. And I don't know if anybody saw this or you participated hopefully too, but this ocean spray good vibes only thing that caught fire was just such a cool moment. You had a guy that had a, a, an awful moment ready to go to work and his car broke down. And he thought, you know what, I'm going to turn this into gold. And he jumped on his longboard and recorded himself singing along to dreams by Fleetwood Mac while chugging ocean spray. And the community started building around and creating their own version. And then Mick Fleetwood got involved and Lindsey Buckingham. And soon um, um, the CEO of ocean spray leaned in. And uh, I just looked it up. Tom Hayes now has 3.8 million views of that video on his longboard. There's 500,000 likes. So we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to talk to Rachel. I, I, uh, what uh, what's next for L'Oreal? Like, where where are you looking to take sort of uh, the the brand in general on the digital side? It, when I came to L'Oreal, you know, in the last cycle, there was a lot of fear around. Oh, what is this? I don't understand this. My kids do this, and I think I think we all as leaders have a responsibility to understand how things work and play with them. Who believe that communities matter. And how can you help build communities around your brands in a meaningful and authentic way? Because consumers already are, are talking about categories and brands and products. You know, we have you know, so many addicted people to skincare at L'Oreal, which has been really an interesting um, journey to watch of just the explosion of love around skincare products. And there's communities on Reddit and there's TikTok skincare and there's creators that are coming out of nowhere that are selling products off the shelf. So, you know, pay hyper attention to the communities of people who love your products and brands because you can leverage them in ways that you, you are unexpected. And then what are the services of the future? 
that will um, will help people like discover brands, shop for brands, um, love brands, and you know we're looking at everything from the future of what's happening in live streaming in China and how does that um, how does that translate to the U.S. market? It's it's a different game, but are we will that will that will that experience happen here? Uh, Mike, thank you. Emily, thank you so much. Uh, Rachel, thank you as well. So. Happy holidays to you guys and your families, and I'm sure we'll be talking soon. Excellent. Thank you so Thank much. You Enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, Bye -bye. guys. That was great.